Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to a brand new episode, the last episode of season three actually. Uh, feels like it's been going on forever, but we are at the last two games of the season and as you can see, we have Chelsea who have just won the league. In fact, they won the treble, so it's been a great season for them. Uh, for us, however, it's been a bit of a, a, a bit of a balls up really, you could say. It's not been great towards the end. Uh, you know, a few episodes ago, we were right where Watford were. We were doing really well. I honestly had that belief that we were going to finish in the top four. No, not so much because we are six with 60 points on the board. We're two points ahead of Tottenham, who we got next as well, actually, the last game of the season. Uh, but since the last episode, we're really, it's cocked us up big time. Obviously, we lost to West Brom by two goals to one. Still don't understand how that happened. And we drew 0-0 to Middlesbrough. Uh, since then, we've lost to Watford by one goal to nil. We beat Swansea, who are relegated. Uh, we lost to Arsenal. We beat West Ham United. And we drew 2-2 at Anfield against Liverpool. So, that's a decent result, really. Uh, didn't expect much out of that one. So, Chelsea, next at St. James's Park. Now, the squad as follows. We've got a bit of an injury. Tim O'Horn back for the next game. So in comes Rob Elliott. So in defence, we've got Kieran Tierney on the left, we've got Isaac Hayden, Jamal Lascelles in the centre, and David Zappacosta on the right. Mikel Marino, Stefano Sturaro in midfield, and the attacking mids, we've got Javier Pastore, John Joe Shelby, and Ottavio. Ottavio has been phenomenal these last few games. I, I'm, I'm going to miss him. I really am, because I, unless, unless the board give me a huge amount of cash so, so that I can sign him, it's goodbye, Otavio. What a player he's been. Uh, but up front on his own, we've got Daniel Sturridge on 24 goals this season. It's a bit of a success story, that is. I mean, it's just a shame that he got injured uh, earlier in the season. But he's back. So, yes. And that is how the team follows. Now, if you've just caught up with this episode, of well, recent episodes, and you wonder why Isaac Hayden and Jamal LaSalle are in defence, basically, they've been phenomenal all season. What a partnership. I mean, it compared to like to Lissandra Lopez, who's been a god almighty failure since arriving at St. Uh, St. James's Park. I think it's safe to say he's out of this. He's going to be out of this team. I think by by the transfer window, we'll see. I'm not going to go hard too much on Davison Sanchez. He was on loan. It was only like a backup job. Uh, he didn't get much of a chance. Florian Lejeune, yeah, just again, I'm sure he's a good player. I just didn't give much of a chance. So that could possibly change next season. But anyway, that's how things are. This is that's the team we're gonna put out against Chelsea. Not competent at all. It, as I said before, it has been. I just think we're asking too much here. If had we got the results against West Brom, Middlesbrough, may well have been a different story. But that's been and gone. But anyway, let's kick things off against Chelsea and let's just see if we can get something, anything, as long as it's not a defeat. Obviously. Here we go. The message is simple. Oh God, um, I don't like I don't like doing the revenge talk because it never works, does it? So we're gonna go with the underdogs. That's probably the most uninspiring team talk I've ever done. We are itching to set the record straight. I wonder if Chelsea are gonna have a day off. I mean, you won the league. You've done everything you possibly can do. Can we please just just give us a bit of a break? But anyway, Zappa Costa on the ball. And that's the only highlight we're going to get at this moment in time. And of course, if you've been watching this uh, series throughout, I'd like to know how you've... Uh, well, how you've... If you enjoyed it? Is there much... Something that I need to do better? Like, aka sign better players? Any any suggestions? Uh, you just let me know. And Elliot, I don't know what on earth Elliot was doing, but he managed to get the ball away. We've got Shelby. He's going to try and find Sturridge. He does. And Sturridge hits it and it's 1-0. Daniel Sturridge, what a finish that is. Posting in, and we're currently up to fourth. Didn't expect that. But yes, your opinions on the series, please. That would that would be marvellous. Make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment, and share this video. And we're still on 79 subscribers. Can somebody out there hit that sub button? Make it 80. The quest for 80 is not quite done yet. That could be if anyone could do that be bloody marvellous <laughs> but anyway let's get back to the more important things at hand we're one nil up against Chelsea uh, it seems too good to be true at the moment I'm expecting something to go wrong that's just 
because we've just gone back to being the inconsistent Newcastle United of last season. If you watched that, you know exactly what I mean. But so far, so good. Daniel Sturridge, thank God he's back. But anyway, let's see how our, our defending holds up against this lot. And just as I says that, they've scored. So we didn't hold up very well at all, did we? So it's 1-1. One, one. And it's that bloody Eden Hazard again. Every single time we play against Chelsea, he is a complete fawn in our arses. But there we go. He's that kind of player, I guess. He's a, he's a top player. And there we are. It's 1-1. One, one. we just got to hope we can hold up till half time at least. Or better yet. If we can get a, we can get another goal before half time, it might make my team talk a lot easier. Tierney on twelve yellow cards uh, uh, this season, and here comes Chelsea again. Oh dear! Yeah, just like that. Just like that. It started off so well, and I said, I know, and I said before, it, it's too good to be true. We're down, back down to six. We, I'm just hoping whoever plays Tottenham does us a favour. Southampton did us a favour on the last, the last game they played. So thank you very much, Southampton. But we need someone else to do us a favour. We're gonna, we're gonna get torn apart here. Yeah? Oh, he's hit the bar. And Stiroa just hoofs it up to the field. He's gonna try and find Sturridge. No such luck. And it's gonna be half time. Oh dear. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I've got to, I've got to get aggressive. Show me something else. And the thing is, if we don't get well, we're not we're not gonna get Champions League football, I don't think. But it, even if we get European like Europa League next season, it's gonna it's gonna uh, annoy a lot of our players, like to Sturaro. Maybe Kieran Tierney, who won Champions League football. So, it's not going to be that simple for us, really, to sort out. But as, if we, as long as we get European football of some kind next season, I don't care. We've got to, we've got to have a go. We've got to do something here. But we're going to go attacking. Yes, very stupid idea, I hear you say. But Hazard has picked up a knock. Could be a twist in the tail in this game, yeah. I won't make any subs just at the moment. We've got Adam Armstrong on the bench who can now play as an attacking midfield, which is good. I like. To, I, I didn't want to give up on him. I want to see him put more into his game and he can play as an attacking mid. He could feature in uh, shortly. But here comes Otavio. He goes to find Sturridge. He finds Giraro. And it's Giraro again. Giraro, third time lucky. Oh, now it gets cleared away. But that's more like it. But now we're in trouble. Oh no, we're left wide open, and it's going to be free. There we go. Oh, they hit us on the break. And if only Stiraro had put put him away. Two clear chances to get us back into this game. It is game over for us. You could tell by the tone of my voice how how. Oh, just gonna it's gonna be an awful end to the season really is I'm so annoyed at myself <laughs> how I got it so wrong Pastore has been disappointing the second half of the season I keep saying it but he has uh, what we're going to do we're going to take him off and we're going to put um, we should go with Matt Ritchie or Adam Armstrong I mean, Armstrong's got a pace so is Ritchie we'll, get, we'll go, for, go for the experience we'll go for Ritchie Pastore's coming off he's been awful um, not really sure what else to do here actually the midfield's not doing, doing too well. Actually, I could drag Shelby back into midfield and take Marino off or Storaro. We'll, no, no I'm, I'm just complicating things. We'll, we'll stick with that at the minute. We're not going to win the game anyway. Let's let just that's that's that. It's going to come down to the Tottenham game, the biggest game of the season for us if we want to get European football. But here comes Richie. Let's, Decent ball to Tierney. He's anyone in the box. Nobody there. Oh, oh. I thought um, Marino was going to lunge in there. 
Oh, Chelsea are just turning it on. It's going to be four. Hayden clears it away. Oh. It just gets worse. It just gets worse. And that's that, really. We just get another goal. Can we get, can we get a consolation at least? Oh, no, we, no, we can't. We, we <laughs> three, three decent chances at least. And we're not going to get anything. And I should have done it on my chair, by the way, because now it's going to squeak like hell. I hate this chair. Oh, well, here, here we go. Shelby. Oh, dear. It's... Well, it, it makes for an interesting game, the line, you know, in the episode, of this episode. And Sturridge scores a lovely finish again by Daniel Sturridge. But, uh, yeah. I can't see us getting two goals into this, though. Can't see it happening. But as I say, it does make for an interesting game against Tottenham. Who knows? Who knows? We could get something from them. Uh, but hang on. We're, we're having a go. It's Tierney. Oh, Tierney, you're taking two. Oh, he's gone off. He's getting off. Red card. Red card. We're going to make. We're gonna have to make a change. Luke Shaw's coming on. Kieran Tierney. Only a matter of time. So we're going to take off then. Well, let's be honest. I mean, Otavio's not playing that good either, to be honest with you. We're going to have to, Yeah, well... See, the thing is, you take Otavio off, he's been a very creative player of ours. He, he's got the ability to change games. Some of the goals that he scored this season has been outstanding. So I know he's playing 6.4, but Shelby's playing well as, uh, as well. So I don't know what to do. It'd be just be hard. It'd just be harsh to take off Shelby, given how how well he's played. We'll take Otavio off then. We'll we'll do that. We're gonna give. Um, oh, it's gonna be Luke Shaw, isn't it? Obviously. And then we there we go. We're just gonna, yeah. We'll, we'll leave that as it is. Oh dearie me! Look at all them yellow cards. It's ridiculous. Can we get? Can we get another goal? Ask, ask. You know, just ask questions. Get you know, get something here. Now, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? If any, if anyone's going to score next, it's going to be Chelsea. And here we go. It's Sturridge. Could get himself a hat-trick. But here comes Shaw. It's a decent run. Zappa Costa. Oh, what kind of ball was that? You don't need to score another goal, Chelsea. You do not need to score another goal. I mean, you've won this league. Nope. Got nothing left in there. No drink available. Oh, dearie me. Newcastle 2, Chelsea 5. <laughs> and that is that. Unless, of course, Sturridge gets a hat-trick. That could... That would be nice for him. But I'll tell you what, though. We have got a... Hell of a game to come. And I think Tottenham are playing... I can't, who are they playing, actually? Here he comes, Sturridge. Oh, oh. Okay, cleared away. It's cleared away again. We, we just, we, how long does this game need to go on for? I mean, wh why is there so much... added time or whatever? Wh what is going on? We don't need to see any more of this. And there you have it. It wasn't ideal. We lost 5-2. So we move on to Tottenham. And we just got to pray that it works our way. And we stay inside the top six. Alright, okay. So there's a couple of changes to be made. We've got Luke Shaw in for the suspended Kieran Tierney. Timmer Horn's back in goal as well. And we've got Matt Ritchie on for John Joe Shelby. Maybe should have took Pastore off. But we'll always see how that goes. Right then. So the message is... Well, we've got to just... Yeah, I'm going to expect a delivery. We can get European football by winning. And that's what we want to do. Uh, don't really care about these questions. 
And just look at the league table as well, actually. I thought six positions where we need to finish for European football, but we don't. We actually finished seventh because Chelsea have won the League Cup. Arsenal played Man United in the FA Cup final. So, if we finish seventh, it's still European football next season. That's what we need to do, depending on this result, of course. And depending if someone like... I think we've got to keep an eye on um, Liverpool because they're playing against Manchester City. So, we hope, hope City do us a favour... And that way, we're laughing. We're playing Europa League next season. But there's a long way to go. Uh, it's 10 minutes approaching. Uh, nothing to report. And, and it looks like it's all Tottenham as well. Five shots, one on target. We've had one shot and zero on target. It's 50-50 possession. Did contemplate changing the formation, but I decided not to because this formation's we're suited to it basically change anything else and we I, I, it would have gone terribly wrong but here goes Matt Ritchie he finds Sturridge and Sturridge scores it's 1-0 great start decent ball in by, uh, by Ritchie yeah so if I change formation then it would be a disaster I think we stick to the formation that we've got we know it we've done well with it all season just proves that we have. So Sturridge puts us in the lead and we're, I just believe now, I think we've gone up to fourth. Wouldn't that be something? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine if we stay fourth? That would be amazing. <laughs> Get Champions League football. Still don't think that's going to happen. Uh, so Watford must be losing them if that's the case. And it's a penalty. See, we can enjoy fourth spot for just a brief second because it's not going to happen. It's not going to last. It's a penalty to Tottenham. And he's over the bar. That's terrible. <laughs> that was awful. We were let off lightly. And we're still 1-0 up. And West Brom have gone 2-0 up against Watford. Bloody hell. Could you imagine if the result stays the same? We're, we're talking about Europa League and then you know, we can get Champions League. Could you imagine that? Still got a long way to go. Let's not get too excited. Pastore is taking a knock. He's got a pulled groin. Can he hold up to half time? We're going to make the changes. I think we're going to do that. We're going to take him off. That's not what we need right now is injuries. We can do without that. So but he's going to come off. Uh, who are we going to put on? John Joe Shelby again. Yeah, Shelby can probably come on. Make him the you know he's perhaps he's not he's not played bad there to be to be honest with him. He, you know he's he's playing all right. So team talk, uh, just keep them happy, send them out happy, keep the momentum going. We have to stay in control, hopefully. Now we can just see out this, hopefully get something out of this second half. And we are just giving free kicks and penalties away like, like they're just sweets. <laughs> really got to stop doing that. The city of equalised, 1-1. One, one. I didn't even know they. I didn't even know they were losing, but we dropped down to fifth. Okay, we dropped down to fifth. Fine. But West Brom, oh, so Watford have scored now. I didn't think we were going to keep uh, fourth position. Uh, that's because City, uh, uh, yeah, City have equalised, haven't they? Oh, I thought that was going in. We're going to get nervous now. We're going to get into the late stages of the game. Here comes Tottenham. You can expect this is going to happen. Come on, defend. Oh, where you go with that ball? Where you go with that ball, Richie? Just. Oh, it's well played. It's Daniel Sturridge. Oh, he had the best chance to make it 2 0. I mean, look how crazy that league table looks right now. To try and get European football. That is mad. Oh, no, he comes. Oh, that's a decent save. But Shaw manages to keep it in. Well played. I'd, I'd be happy with this now. I don't. If we don't get Champions League, fine. Uh, we'll deal with that another time. If, we, if this stays like this. I wonder if it were to make any changes, though. We're not offering much up front at all. Tavers not playing too well. Shiraz on 6.5. Liverpool just taking the lead again. That means we're going back up to fourth. Decent ball again. It's Sturridge. Can you get the ball in the box? 
He can. It's Giroud who scored. It's 2 0. Stefano Giroud has just smacked it in with his head. Oh, my word. This is going to be an interesting finish. What a ball by Daniel Sturridge, of all people. What a header that was by Stefano Giroud. The Newcastle hero. You will be could be a legend if this put if this result stays the same. Just don't let your guard down now. Okay, Let, let's just keep the concentration. No more penalties. No more Oh my god. I just don't like the way they're challenging. Just put them on counter or something. Just I just don't want they should yeah. Oh, brilliant save by the goalkeeper. Tottenham are going to throw for that as now. Oh, my word. I'm nervous. It's going to be the longest... The longest game in history right now. If I've got... If I'm, if I'm being silent for too long, I'm just nervous. <laughs> Liverpool are smashing Manchester City 4-1 right now. And City just scored. Oh my god, what kind of game is this going to be? Oh, it's 5 2. What a game! Oh, we haven't got long. Are we going to get Champions League football? We could be getting Champions League football, guys. This is not why I expected. Oh, I thought it was, was going to score. I cannot believe that that league table is going to end like this. We've got five seconds left. We could be getting Champions League football. Oh, my God. I can't believe. <laughs> what? So, we've done it. We've We've got, we've actually got, I think we qualified for the Champions League. Well... Okay, so after those two games, we lost to Chelsea, we beat Tottenham, and we've got Champions League football next season. Never had a doubt. I always believed. Always believed. All right, okay. All right, I didn't believe, all right? I didn't believe. But I can't. I honestly cannot believe how that has ended. I did not expect that at all. I didn't expect Watford to lose to West Brom. Liverpool smashed Manchester City five goals to two. Listen, that that would that could never happen again, as far as I'm concerned. I can't believe the, the, the run that we've had. We managed to get finish in the top four. That is brilliant. Wow, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm I'm gobsmacked by that. But anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of season three. Can't wait for season four. Now we've got we got Champions League football next season. Marvelous! That means the likes of Giraro and and Tierney and everyone else. We're gonna be they're gonna be bloody happy now. Happy, they can't complain. We're gonna be playing against the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona. Okay, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We'll worry about that next season. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have, hit the like button, leave a comment. But more importantly. Hit that subscribe button and please can someone get me to that number 80 of the subscribers. I'll be, I'll be forever grateful if you do that. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Series 4 coming up soon. Take it easy. Bye for now.